Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sharon Cullen Art. Today is Tiny Tuesday Tutorial Day and I'm going to be doing this window ledge. Okay, so I was choosing my colors for this. <clears throat> There's going to be um, some grays going on in here, some shadowing. I'd prefer to use shadow violet. You can use your like burnt sienna and some ultramarine to make a a um, shadow color or whatever. I also have burnt sienna and red ochre. My burnt sienna is almost gone, but I've been preferring my red ochre for some of my pots, so I may do that. But uh, then I have some sap green, some yellow, and I'm going to grab a little bit of red just for some color, maybe some flowers or something, some permanent red. So there are quite a few colors here today, but um, some of them are just going to be dotted in. Now I've drawn in my, my picture here, and um, I'm going to go ahead and get started painting. To start, I just want to get my pots in. So I'm going to take some of that red ochre, kind of keeping it dilute. I'm dabbing off on a piece of paper to see my color, how what the value is before I put it on. Uh, this one I think I'm going to make it a snake plant. So I'm going to cover all of this pot here. This pot on the left, I'm going to have some green hanging over. So I'm just going to put a little of the red in like this. And maybe a little bit on the edges. This one, hmm, maybe I'll do the same. Not as much though. And a couple of, I want it darker in some spots. And I'll grab some blue, dabbing it off a little bit. And I just want to gray up my pots in some, some areas. It's still a little bit too strong here. So I'm just, I was wiping it off on a piece of paper. And then once it dries, I want to put the ridges in on the pot. I don't think they'll go in well right now, so we'll just leave them like that for now. And now, yeah, you know what? I am going to use my Shadow Violet if you don't have it. Or not Shadow Violet, my Moon Glow. If you don't have Moon Glow, that's fine. This is just a shadowy color that I like because of its granulating qualities. It, um, it looks really pretty on paper, so that's why I like to use it for my shadows. I'm just going to shadow this this um, white area a little bit. This wall. Sun's going to be coming that way. So, the top of my window sills, or underneath the top, is all going to be shadow. This will be shadow too. This will be kind of shadowed. Just give the illusion there of that. Then down the left side, like that. Okay. And then here, I want to mix my green and my shadow violet together a little bit. I'm going to dilute it. That was a little too dilute. Now this is all going to be shadowed down here. Oop. 
that's a little dark. I should have a palette out, and I don't. Just lifting a little bit of color up. The stains, so, excuse me for bumping that. The stains and it's going to um, granulate. But I like the, to push it back after I've added color so that it has kind of a um, faded out response or maybe bits and pieces are still showing. You know what I mean? I don't know if that made any sense. But, okay, that's that. Now I want to start with the plants. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, shoot. Well, that was not intentional. Now what am I going to do? I may have to put a vine in there. Let's see if I can scrub that out. Looks like I was able to scrub most of it out, so that's good. Silly me. There, that's good enough. This can stay. Alrighty, I didn't realize there was a puddle in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of flick some plant in. This is a little damp, so I'm going to let it dry before I go any further. I don't have a reference photo to show you. I'm just winging this. I was thinking about buildings like in Greece that are all white, Santorini or something, and they might have plants out. This looks kind of like a Christmas cactus, but I'm going to have some of this coming down. And whatever's left white, I can still fill in with my clay pot color. Um, so I think I'm done with that one. Now my next one, I want to do like a snake plant. Uh, I need my palette. i got to clean it out. Actually, i got another one right here that's kind of got a clean half on it. So I'm going to go ahead and mix a deeper green. Just using my sap green and a little bit of my ultramarine blue. You can use yellow and ultramarine blue, whatever you want to do. I'm going to get a smaller brush just for a minute here. This is a size zero and I'm just going to make a snake plant. Now that all kind of got blurred together, but that's okay, because I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to separate it with blue marks. Some lower branches in the front. There we go. That'll work. And then... I'm going to go on with my next color. I'm going to take some yellow. And put this in all over. And then I'm going to grab some of that green. I did not even rinse my brush. There. And then on the last one over here, I'm going to use a little bit of the darker green. I still have not rinsed my brush, so there's still yellow on it. And I'm just going to put in whatever. I'm going to add some red berries to this one, or some, maybe some geraniums or something. Let's try that. I'm going to go in again with my smaller brush. 
just gonna rinse it off here grab some red and I'm just gonna dot in a geranium kind of looks like one I don't want the red all mixing in there I think I just hit it I'll wait for that to dry. There. I don't want it to look super even. Now, uh, I'm just, I'm pretty much done with that. Now you can use pencil or pen or paint. I think I'm gonna stick with paint here. I'm gonna grab my shadow violet again. You can make a gray that would work well, but I wanna put in my, my areas of shadow along here. Get a little bit more dilute. And then brush is getting dry. Now I need to mix a gray. So I'm going to take my burnt or my blue and my burnt sienna and mix myself a gray. I want it nice and dark. should be good but we'll see here and I just want to streak these windows there we go I'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit and move this around and I want to take the gray in here into the other window areas there. No, I need to uh, fix my pots a little more. I don't like how dark they got in some areas. I'm gonna try to lift a little color if I can. I gotta get my scrubber brush though. If you have a stiff bristle brush, you can do this, but be careful. I'm using bee paper, which is cotton, but it doesn't have good liftability because it's a cheaper paper. It lifts some but you can still dig right into the paper if you're not careful, so. There, that's better, I like that better. Now I can go back in with my little brush, my color here. Fix this one. Get that covered. I also wanted to put the lips under the pots. This one definitely had one. Might as well put it on all of them. I'm just using the shadow violet because it's here, but you can um, use your gray or whatever you'd like. And then the shadow, 
uh, I'm going to put down this side because it's on the inside of the window. So it would be over here on this. I don't know if that made any sense to you, but that's the way it would go. There. Okay. Now I think we're done. I think I want to add a little more shadowing under here, though. There we go. You know what, I'm looking at this, guys, and I'm thinking it needs a little more. I'm going to have something climbing up the sides, I think. I'd like to have another plant coming up here or something. Maybe one of those um, kind of abervite things like this. Let me just stick that in there so that we have something more to go on. It's just going to disappear off the page. Then you need your blue to put the heavier color in certain areas. There. And then since that's there, you need shadowing over here. Okay. I'm not real happy with that, but Okay, now I feel like it's done. It's done a little bit better anyway. So everybody remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Take care. God bless you.